it was like a lion came in a room with I, I don't I don't know if y'all know about like a, how they have in the Chinese parades like big head lions going from side to side, but I seen that come in the room and it looked at me and it just all of a sudden opened its mouth and it just roared so loud to the point where it shook my whole body. It shook my whole body to the point where I woke up. As soon as I woke up, I looked at my phone and Sherry was calling me as soon as I woke up. And she called me crying. And anybody who knows that's mad, if your wife called you crying, something wrong. So she called me and it had happened at work, basically. This case happened at work. We didn't know what, what was going on. So it happened, you know, we went to the doctor and, you know, got all of that situated. Like I said, it was a very hard time for us because we didn't expect this gift. Anybody who's been through that, like, that is very hard. And during that time, we, we didn't necessarily lose faith, but we always wondered why. Because not only with that, I was hurting, but she was hurting too. And, you know, I had to be mama for her, I had to be daddy for her, I had to be brother, sister, friend, all the while while I was hurt. And, you know, that was a very difficult time. So, you know, we, we got through that. And the same year, we waited a few months and she got pregnant again. And so we was a little reluctant this time of, you know, telling everybody. And so in December, well, as a matter of fact, it was November. We went to the doctor and the doctor basically said the same exact thing again. So we was wondering what was going on. And there was no heartbeat at all. And so December, me and my wife, we were, you know, upstairs and she miscarried there. Matter of fact, she miscarried to the point where we seen it. <coughs> it was like that big. And so we, we sat there and just looked. I mean, we didn't. We really didn't understand what was going on. And, you know, during that time, it, it was just so hard. So this year, fast forward this year, um, we decided to do it again. And I know many of you wonder probably why we didn't advertise that, you know, she was pregnant because we really wanted to only hear from God. And, you know, keep the faith. Because I know some people were saying, you know, you need to go get checked. We knew what God was telling us. And so we also remember back in November 2016, a guy prophesied to us like most all prophets do for some reason. Um, they prophesied to us, and when they got done, we went to go sit down, but they told us to come back. And they asked us, what is something that you all really want in life? And of course, above music, above career above anything else, we always desire family. That's the only thing we desire is family. And so we told him, and he basically told us to go home that night and worship. And that's what God was going to do for us in that moment. And so that night we went home, we, we prayed together, we worshiped, and then after that we did some more worship. You know, faith, faith without works is dead. So, um, yeah, we did that. Yeah, so we did that. And so we did that, and you know, we're here now, and you know, for you know, for the last consecutive nights, like for the last seven months, God told me to pray Ephesians 3 and 20 over her song every single night. And that's what we've been doing every single night. And so I basically want to just tell God that God is good, and God is a healer, and you know. One thing people really don't know about us is, you know, we go through so much. Being guilty, one thing I am learning is being guilty, you go through a lot of stuff. People will never see it. You go through a lot of stuff. In that time, we've seen so many other people having babies and all that. We just wonder about us. You know, we encourage people, hundreds of thousands of people, but we always wonder about us. So we're here today, and we don't want to make this a sad occasion because it's a joyous occasion. Yeah. And we're happy for what 